Instagram worthy. That's how you know you've made it when you're making breakfast if your wife takes a picture of it and puts it on Instagram. Making French toast here today. We've got some brioche bread. Strawberries. She did the strawberries last year. Because that's the most important part. Oh, look at that golden brown. That might even end up on my Instagram. Look at that. Are we okay now since the incident? No. I do. Oh man. I don't even remember what happened. That's how over it I am. Well, good for you. What did happen? He got mad at Diesel. For Diesel trying to take the frog from he was playing with it. That's right. And he bit Diesel and then Diesel snapped out of the bath and then Diesel stepped on my foot and now it's on yours. It was a chain of events. Series of unfortunate events. So the frog is Diesel's favorite toy. Favorite toy. And the fact that Frank was even playing with it for a while. That was my that was, uh, that was a big step for Diesel. He was letting him play with it. But then when Diesel wanted it back, Frank freaked out and bit him. So Diesel did the thing a brother does and snapped back at him. And Frank freaked out, had a big emotional breakdown. And then Diesel freaked out jumped up and stepped on Britt's foot. And then Britt freaked out. <laughs> and the whole house went crazy. And Frank blamed himself for everything, which rightfully so. Here's the thing. Diesel has like six frogs in that toy box. They're all mine. I'm your fog man. I'm you fog you extras in case your brother stole them. I accept full responsibilities. And of course I scolded him because he started it all. But then again I second guessed myself because I don't know who did start it out to Diesel. Diesel just wanted his toy back. In all fairness, Frank was still playing with it. Diesel. I can do no wrong. We well, not me. Good morning. Today's the big day. Uh -huh. How you feeling? Yeah. Uh, it's almost over. Mm -hmm. Or just begun, if you think it's a bad way. It's just begun. Yeah. Today is surgery day, egg retrieval. She is the star of the show today. I mean, I have my part, my uh, five minutes. Uh, but the rest of the day is all for her. Five minutes? Ten, maybe? <laughs> I mean, I could drag it out. We could do 20. I don't know. Yeah, I think the nurse's one should be quick and efficient. So, yeah, I've got my... Uh, contribution. My contribution day to day. It's my big day. Uh, my contribution to this whole process. This is, uh, this is my one time to shine. She's been feeling pretty rough the last couple of days, so. I know it's not about me, I'm just joking, just to clarify for people. She gave us a thumbs up. She's doing good. Let's go. I get to come in this time. Mm -hmm. You ready? I guess. I'm too tired to be nervous. That's good. So what happens when you go through surgery and have your eggs retrieved? You get rewarded with McDonald's. They told me to eat lots of salt. I'm eating salt. <laughs> He's eating salt too. You didn't have surgery. No. 
I'm not high. I am. <laughs> they gave her some kind of loopy drugs some and uh, was it really? Yeah. Wow. They gave her the good stuff. They gave me Ativan and fentanyl. Oh my. I didn't know they were any of that. Well, it's a uh, doctor's orders, doctor's administered, doctor administered. I just had to clean my lens off real quick here. She said it's not street drug fentanyl. It's the proper medical kind of fentanyl. Medical. fentanyl. Okay. You just say that word and I'm automatically goes, my mind goes to, oh. My wife's a junkie now. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. Yeah, they uh, drugged her up a little bit to help with the surgery, and I'm her chauffeur now. And the doctor's orders were to go get McDonald's. So here we are. Probably one of the only times a doctor will tell you to go and eat some McDonald's. Mm -hmm. You want to say anything? Want to add anything? No. Are you, you feeling good? In any no. pain? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of pain? Mm-hmm. At least it's all over now. Mm -hmm. The hard part's over. Well, they didn't. Hard part. Yeah, they didn't get quite as many as we were hoping. Uh, when we first went in, the first ultrasound said uh, they saw 14 follicles. The second one saw 10, right? And then the third one saw 11. 14, 12, 10, 11. But. A lot of those were too small. They didn't grow the way that they thought they would. So we only had six mature follicles and one of them was empty. So we got five eggs. And now we uh, sort of have to put a little bit of faith in the scientists and doctors and uh, medical experts. They're going to take those five eggs and very, very carefully uh, fertilize them. They're going to take one sperm and actually inject it right into the egg. It's, the process is called ICSI, right? It's an acronym for something. For a very long medical term. Yeah, and it's it's a, a little bit risky. Uh, it's rare that anything bad would happen and they'd destroy the egg by doing that. The chances are there, but uh, if all goes well, they'll fertilize them all like as we speak. That's what they're doing right now. And then they're going to let them grow for th three to five days, right? Uh, three to six. Three, <clears throat> three to six days. So they're going to call us tomorrow and let us know how the fertilization went. And then they'll call us again next week to let us know how many made it to maturity. To a mature blastocyst. Blastocyte? Cyst. Blastocyst. I always get messed up on that word. And however many of those we have, we freeze them. And we paid for a year of freezing, I believe. And every year you'd have to pay. So... It, then we hopefully we'll have five, right? And if the first one takes, get pregnant right away. Someone asked me in my comment section if we save the rest. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, those stay frozen. So the next time we try, if we have trouble uh, conceiving naturally again, or if we just want to go straight for the transfer procedure, all we got to do is come in and pay the transfer fee, which is about $2,000, instead of paying, you know, the sixteen, seventeen thousand $17,000 for this whole process. I'm going to have to pay $2,000 go in for the transfer and we can use those other four one at a time. So we have like, could technically get five babies out of this if they were to all take. But if, if, it's a big if. There's a lot of different variables coming up yet. This is my, <laughs> she's got the munchies. She's my stoner muncher over here. Don't worry, I'm gonna ask her later when she's all cleared up, if it's okay if I post this, so. It's fine. I'll ask her, like, tomorrow if it's okay. It's fine. So, if you're seeing it, she's okay with it. I've got no shame. We all know it. I'm not naked on camera. It's fine. Come here. Come here. I think there's a mess out here. Look at this. Terrible. It's 
We got home, had a great big long nap. Britt's still sleeping, but I had to get up, let the boys out, and uh, I need to get some work done as well. This is our backyard. What is it today? It's that's mid to late April. It's not melting yet. Oh, over there is turning to water. That's good. That's a good sign. Our backyard here doesn't get very much sunlight, so it's always one of the last places to uh, turn green. Just the way everything was built around us. Blocks a lot of the sunlight, but at this time of day, it sort of comes right between there. Day two. Well, day one post-op. Yeah, so the surgery happened yesterday. We're skipping ahead one day and uh, giving you a little update on how she's feeling. All I did was sleep yesterday. I mean, I don't know what I said to you guys, but I'm sure I'll see it in the video upcoming. <laughs> I'll show it to you before I post it. Okay. She's given me permission. Okay, I didn't swear, insult anyone I love, drool, or get naked, right? No, but then you go did ahead. almost a little bit of drooling. Almost. That's fine. Go ahead. You're eating That's McDonald's. Fine. Oh, that makes sense. Do you remember that? Eating a McDonald's bit. in the car? I remember sitting in front of a chiropractic place. But that was about it. Yeah, that's where we ate our McDonald's. I thought it was a plant shop <laughs> for the first, like, 15 minutes we sat there. And then I looked up and saw the sign and realized it was a chiropractic office. Because it had a bunch of plants in the front window. There was a plant shop in the same building, just was a it? special oh. plant. <laughs> it was a cannabis store in that well, building. All right, then. <laughs> we did not go in, because I didn't need it. No, and I'm not allowed, because <laughs> my, my work... Yeah, long story. Prohibits. Prohibits. Otherwise, I'm not allowed to drive in the U.S., and that'd be no fun. Exactly. Anyways, how, uh, how have you been feeling today? How were you feeling when you first got home? Not good. <laughs> Could not walk without the assistance of my husband here. That was very painful. I almost had to carry her in. Mm-hmm. So I just laid in bed and had about a six-hour nap. And then woke up and demanded pizza. No, I didn't demand it. Did I demand it? I think I asked you kind of nicely. No, you asked nice. I went and got Little Caesars. Yeah. It's, it's like budget pizza, but it's really good. It's like gourmet budget pizza. And they told me to eat salt, so I'm going to eat salt. <laughs> Laid in bed and watched TV, slept, and that was, that was the extent of my day. Mm-hmm. And uh, did we tell them about the eggs? We did. We told you guys that no there idea. was... that. There was five, right? That they got. Was. It was. There we was. <laughs> we got the call from the uh, medical professionals the lab, or the lab, lab techs staff. about uh, the eggs. They, uh, you want to tell? Them? They were only able to fertilize three. Mm -hmm. So, today was a bit of a emotionally exhausting day instead of physically. Yeah. So she went through all of that. Uh, for three fertilized eggs and from those three on average 40 percent will make it mature so we're hoping for two but uh, you know statistics show that uh, we should probably expect one but we're hoping for two at least maybe all three maybe, maybe, maybe we'll be above average it could happen yeah so in comparison uh, you have a friend that's going through this exact same thing, almost at the exact same time right now, and they got a few more. Quite a few more. Seven made it to freeze. Yeah, and they're the same age, too. So, that's why we were hoping for more. There's no exact science behind it, or rhyme or reason. But Just a lot of disappointment today, but at least they didn't tell us none of them got fertilized, I guess. Mm-hmm. And we're going to find out next week, Friday, right? Well, we'll have an update Tuesday, and then Thursday or Friday, they'll mm -hmm. conclusively know how many can be frozen. So hopefully all three are still growing on Tuesday, and hopefully all three are still growing on Friday. I'm going to be in Toronto then at that time, so I will drop everything I'm doing when you call. <laughs> okay. 
So if you're visiting with me on the floor at Truck World and I suddenly say, I have to go, I have a very important phone call, that's the phone call. Okay, just a heads up, waiting for that. And then, then we'll know on Friday, because uh, whatever eggs turn into blastocysts, they get frozen. So. so that's where we're at. Yeah, excited, but a little, a little disappointed too. By nature, I'm a bit of a pessimist, so I'm all doom and gloom in my mind most of the time. Josh, thankfully, is a little more of an optimist. Yeah. Well, because it's, I mean, we've three fertilized now. That's more than we had before. True. And even if we get one, that's one chance. It only takes one good one, so and make it count, I guess. Hopefully it goes through. And if we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But uh, anything else you want to add? That's pretty much all the updates we have. You know what we know now. Yep. And hopefully her body is in less pain soon. Hopefully. Bittersweet news to this whole process. We're hoping for, we're hoping for better, better news, but yeah, it could be worse. Could have had none. But we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you later.